how to decode NOTAM. If you're a pilot or someone involved in aviation, understanding NOTAMs is crucial for safe and efficient flight operations. So let's break down how to decode these important notices. First, let's start with what a NOTAM is. A NOTAM, or Notice to Airmen, is a notice filed with an aviation authority to alert pilots of potential hazards or changes along a flight route or at a specific location. When you look at a NOTAM, you'll see it's organized into several key parts. The first line includes the NOTAM identification, which consists of a series, a sequence number, and the year of issue. For example, in the new IKO format, it might look like N3519, where N is the series letter, 0035 is the sequence number, and 19 is the year. Next, you'll see the type of operation indicated by new, replace, or cancel. This tells you whether the NOTAM is new information, replacing an old one, or canceling a previous one. The Q line is where things get a bit more complex. This line contains a five-letter code group, where the first letter is always Q. The second and third letters identify the subject of the NOTAM, and the fourth and fifth letters denote its status of operation. For instance, if the code is QABCD, the AB might indicate the type of hazard or change, and CD might indicate its status, such as active or planned. The A line contains the IKO code of the affected aerodrome or flight information region, FIR. This helps you understand the geographical area affected by the NOTAM. Now let's decode an example. Suppose you have a NOTAM that reads N0035-19 new QABCD core D. Here, N0035-19 tells you it's a new NOTAM in series N issued in 2019. The new indicates it's fresh information. The QABCD code needs to be decoded using IKO tables, but let's say AB stands for a runway closure and CD indicates it's planned. Finally, COORID is the IKO code for Chicago O'Hare Airport telling you where the NOTAM applies. Understanding these components is key to decoding NOTAMs effectively. Each part provides critical information that pilots need to ensure safe flight operations. Additionally, NOTAMs can be triggered to alert those maintaining aeronautical databases of upcoming changes, usually effective at the next Air Act date. These trigger NOTAMs contain a brief description, the effective date, and a reference number. In summary, decoding a NOTAM involves understanding the series and sequence number, the type of operation, the five-letter code group, and the affected location. By breaking down each part, you can quickly and accurately interpret the information provided in a NOTAM.